So this is our problem statement. Now we have to start the coding. So what will be the step? The step one, okay, will be uh, writing the function, okay. Fun uh, sorry, writing the classes or class definition. So here we have already seen that we have three classes. We have a uh, publication class, we have a uh, book class and we have tape class. So let's write the definition of these three classes. Now I will share the code blocks and so this is let's assume we will use this code blocks to write the definition. So first thing we will do, uh, I will uh, write the directives that is a header file and the main function. So let's start. I have already the code is here. So I will just copy it. So the first we did, we copied the header files and the directives that is name is space steady. Okay, so first thing is done. This will be common for every program. Now here, as you can see, I have added conio.h and I also have added string.h. Okay, so if in case you don't remember to add the header files, don't worry. Whenever you try to run the program, the compiler will automatically show you that this file is missing or this file is uh, needed. Now, the second thing is writing the classes, right? Now, if we go back um, on this, so we have we have three classes, publication, book, and tape. And each of, for each of these classes, okay, what we have done, we have uh, made a list of what variables and what functions they will have. So let's start, it, start with the publication. So in the publication class, okay, we will have two variables, stores the title, so a string, and a float. So we'll have two variables. And then uh, we'll have two functions. One is for the get data function and another is for put data. So let's finish this part. Okay, so we have written the class. So first of all, <coughs> the name of the class is publication. We have two variables. Let me format the code a little bit. Yeah, so the name of the class is uh, publication. As it was given, it has two variables. We declared both of them pri private. One is string title and this float price. For each of these variables, we have added a get data function. And in the get data function, what we did, we have uh, created two variables, okay, string t and float t. We have taken input there and then assigned directly to the private variables. Now, uh, so the question is, can we directly take the input in the private? Okay, so that is a question that we have to think, okay? So why just take two, uh, temporary integers and then and temporary float and string variables and then assigning this to these variables. Why not just directly uh, inputting the values into the private variables? So is there any problem with that? Okay. And why we have this conio.h string string files? So the, again, the answer to answer that, okay, so to answer this one first, okay, you can start with the io stream.h, okay, no problem, but whenever we are doing a string operation, we need string. Whenever they're doing float and mathematical operation, we need conio. So it's better to have them here. Okay, in case you forget, okay, don't worry. Whenever you're trying to run the program, compile the program, okay, the com compiler will ask to for this. So in that case, you will remember that, okay, I missed this one. So we have created the class publication with two variables. We have the get data function, okay, which don't take any parameters. So just, we can just write like this. It first declares two temporary variables, take inputs to them, string, and then title equals to T, float equals to P. And in the put data, we just print the variables, publication title and publication price. So this is our first one. 
now let's go back to our problem statement then we have this book class so publication done in the book class what we have we derive the class and we you add a page count so that means we'll have one extra variable that is our page count so now let's uh, start with the function and the rest of it will be same no difference mm. okay so let me format the code so here the book function so class book public is a uh, again as it was not mentioned that which type of inheritance we have to use i have used public here then in the book class we have a new variable integer page count and for that we need to use the get data function and the put data function now, now one thing you will notice that what we do initially we write the same way okay let's remove this line enter the book page count and if you see that we can directly access this page count we don't need to go through this temporary variables okay so that means this was just to show you that there can be many ways you can do the same thing okay now one more thing you have to say if you have attended the last or was the constructor lecture that as this get data okay has two variables in the public in the publication okay so what you have to do you have to call let me you have to call the publication class function to get the data so in short in the get data function you will write the definition of page count here but in the get data you have two more information one is title another is price to get this informations okay or to get this you have to call the function and how we call the function we first write the class name that is publication then we use this double syntax and then we write the function name now what will happen if i write this line so writing this line is basically what we're doing we will copy all this okay so whenever we write this line we copy all this information here so you have two options you can either copy all this information okay or you see for all this information or you can just write this line so this is one thing secondly even if you copy all this information okay the title this is a private variable so it will not be accessible by the this uh, book class so you will not have access permission as well so what we'll have to do we'll just call the function and then put data again same you will print console output book count but for the this two prints title and price you have to call publication put data so this is how we do the book class now what was our third class mm. our third class was a tape and what is the difference in the tape class we have a float point variables that is uh yeah playing in time in minutes okay so that's it now <coughs> let's go back to our code now i am uh, here you can see how the book function is written okay if you uh okay, let me just remove this yeah so now your task okay to write the tape function following the same syntax class tape then the derivation then the variables that integer uh, minutes okay then write the get data function and the put data function so this is the tape class that we have been uh, for the same definitions and for all of these functions even though they might seem a little bit overwhelming that you see that the code is already 78 line okay but if you look closely what we are doing we are for each of these functions we have a get data we have a put data okay then if for the book class we have a get data we have a put data for the tape class again we have a variable float that is the time or the minutes of playing time then we have a get data function again we are calling the publication of get data to enter the enter the title of the publication and the price of the publication and then we are just adding console output enters playing time then we are directly inputting here in the playing time same goes for the put data function again we are calling the same put data function of the parent class or the publication class and then we are printing those from there and from here we are just printing the playing time 
So finally, let's start with this. Uh, before running the whole code, let me show you that what happens if I run the whole code, okay? So first, what it does, oh, wait, let's not share another way. Um, just a second. Yeah. So I think now you can see the code and the um, execution file as well. So first, what it does, it calls the class book. It creates an object of class book. Okay. So the object is created. And after that, it creates a class of tape as well. So we have these two classes. Uh, one is book class and object is B and this tape class, the object is T. For the book class, we what we do, we call the get data function. So this line is calling the get data function. Whenever we call this function, what happens? Let's go to the book.getData. So we come here. So book class and the get data function. So in this class, whenever we come into this class, it calls publication get data. That means from this part of the code, we jump to the parent class. Okay. Now in the parent class, what happens? First, it uh, gives the ask us to enter the title of publication. So you see here, we have this printf. Okay, so let's enter the publication is A. Okay, so let's use A for now. Then it asks, enter the price of the publication. You see, we can see it in here as well. Enter the price of the publication. Let's name the price 100. Uh, 100. Okay, then these two variables are copied here and we are done with this function. And we go back to this again here. We have the third console output. Enter the book page count. So if we entered the book page count, let's assume the page count is uh, 10. Okay. And then we are done. We are done with this. Then we call t.getData. So this function is called t.getData. So t.getData, this is a, a object of tape class. So in this tape class, what happens? We go to the... Now, so we are done with the first part. Then we... Uh, we have t dot get data. So whenever we write this t dot get data, it calls <coughs> this get data function. In this get data function, we first call the publication get data. So again, we jump back to the parent class. So publication class get data. So again, enter the title of the publication. Let's now name it B. Okay. Then enter the price of the publication. Let's name it 200. So we're done. Now let's go back again. So we're done with this function. And then we come back here, enter taps playing time. So let's take 10 minutes, okay? Let's name it 20. And then we're done. So now what happens, you see, then we, after getting the input, the program calls b.putData. So whenever this put data function is called in the book class, it for, again, it first calls the publication.putData. So if we go back to the publication put data. It will print publication title, publication price. Now, you see publication title is A, publication price is 100 as we have given input. Then it comes back to its own class. Okay, and it prints the page count. The book page count is 10. After that, we call the t.putData. So publication title, publication price, and 20. So every information that we store here, we are just printing the information. But Taking the information and printing the information is not our main target. What was our main target? Our main target was that given a huge problem definition, uh, what was it? Wait. Yeah. So giving this uh, problem definition, okay, imagine a publishing company where you have given a base class or the parent class and from the parent class, you have inherited two other classes. Okay. And then from those classes, you have implemented the put data and the get data function. That was our main task. Okay. Now, Let's go back to the code um, here. So this is the whole code. Now I will I will explain this whole code one more time, and then I will give you a simple example to practice on your own. So let's start with the first. So first thing what we did, we created the directives, the header file and the namespace std. We have added two new header files, string and conio.h. Uh, just in a program, okay. If you don't want to add those header files, it's fine. You can skip this but it's better to add more header files. Okay, it makes your program run smoothly. Then what we did, we created a class publication and from there we have two uh, private variable. 
string title and float price. For each of these private variables, okay, what we did, we have created uh, two string and float, taken input, and then assign this inputs to our values, uh, private variables. And then we have used a put data function to just print the values, that's it. After that, we have inherited the publication class in the book. And as it was given in the question, the problem statement, we have uh, added one more variable, this integer page count. For that variable, we have added enter page book count, page count. And for publication, we have added, uh, we have called this publication get data. What it does, it actually calls the parent get data function. Same goes for the publication put data it calls the parent put data function then we have the for the tape class we have done the same and finally we have just called the we have created object of the book we have uh, created object of the tape and then we have called the get data and the put data function now let me give you another problem same as this one So we will still, we'll be working on this program, okay? Now derive a class called, so we have, so far we have the book and we have a tape. Okay, so let's call, a, derive a class called, what should be called? Um, book, tape, what else we can publish? Let's call magazine, okay? Okay, so in this magazine class um, called magazine, um, which adds um, <coughs> magazine have images, magazine have, yeah. So it can have, a, in the publication, it can have writings. So which adds uh, writing, then magazine have, uh, okay, let's, use ads poem then uh, short stories images so for the poem let's uh, create uh, it will be string okay so short stories it will also be a string so let's assume we'll create our own magazine okay then images for now let's make image as a uh, image as a string as well okay then what we have uh, poem short stories images uh, let's assume jokes not joke okay uh, let's uh, okay let's add joke what's wrong with it so the jokes can be let's assume this is an integer uh, flow, a string as well and finally we can have another uh, data that is finally um, page number oh no this we already have in one book page count what else we can have poem short stories images joke mm. and address okay so now that's it yeah so you will derive a class called magazine which adds when where we can have poems we can have short stories we can have images joke and addresses now as you can see i haven't mentioned the data type of the address that you will decide on your own okay from your experience so some of the cases okay i will just tell you what to do create a magazine that will have poem stories images joke and address so all of these cases i have mentioned the data types okay sometimes i will not mention the data types. you have to figure out that okay for address we can use string so you can automatically figure out what it will happen now you can use the same program okay you can uh if we go back to the program um, yeah so in the same program you can just create another class magazine you will add these variables here and you will call the get data and the put data function so this is your task number one
okay and then uh, if we go back here what this is be task number 1 t1 okay task number 2 okay let me erase this uh wait let me erase this also. so you will find this question in the book as well so this is exercise 1 from the book now task number 2 is uh task 2 is create constructor for magazine class that will automatically um, assign id so here we can add one more variable that is uh, id so each magazine will have their own id okay so the magazine id will be created automatically by the constructor now here comes the question so out of all this variable i'm only using in one with for id so how to do it so if i go back and i will show it for you for here so let's assume i want to uh in this public publication i want to create a constructor okay and what i want to do um, I, let's so first thing is that i have to create a class called book right because we know that constructor have the same class as the book so should i add a return type Now for the book class, what we can do, let's assume that I, for initially, we want to set the page count to zero. So we can write page count equals to zero. So does it work? What do you think? Will it work? You see, it doesn't work. So can anyone find out what is the reason that it's not work? So I have already shown you how to do it, that for in uh, these cases, we have to write it here right so this is one solution yeah. you can also write it here as well so you get the idea that how to do it so for the same way for the magazine class you have to write a constructor that will start with the out of all the variables uh, where is this yeah uh, we have poem we have short stories we have images we have jokes we have address and id so total one two three uh, one two three four five six total six variables we have here we will create the constructor only for the id okay we will not take input from the user in the get data function in the get data function we will only take input about the poem short stories images jokes and address but the id will be automatically assigned assigned by the constructor so take a screenshot i think i have already uh, okay my bad just a minute yeah I should have write it more clean over. So this is your assignment for today. You can start now. I will be in the class. So if you you can submit uh, before 10. So you have 40 minutes from now on. I am restarting the meeting. First take a screenshot of this. Okay, then uh, uh, the code I will also, uh, I will give you the code here as well. So first make sure that you have this one. So I'm. Uh, let me save it as a picture. Mm. Just a minute. Yeah. So I am sending the file to everyone in the Zoom file section. Okay. Have a look into the file section. I have sent the file, you should be able to see it. I'm also sending the current code that I have done. Okay. So you can work on this code as well. You don't have to write the code from the scratch, but it's better if you write the code from the sketch, scratch though. But still, let me just give the code here for today. Um, uh, 
did you get the image everyone no sir i can yes sir check the files yes, in the chat there's option okay okay uh, do you guys have class from 10 any of you have class from 10 pm 10 am yes sir yes sir okay then I you have, have a class you yes, have sir. to hurry up okay so submit before that finish the code and you you don't have to do it in a compiler okay you can just write down the whole code and send the picture as usual okay so i have sent the code i have sent the a picture of the problem statement and i'm restarting the meeting i will be here so if you while you are doing it if you face any problem just let me know so i'm uh, i hope everyone have got the both files now i'm restarting the meeting so that last time for submission is 10 so you have 35 minutes from now on 